which was the, the message of God, the, the spirit of God that surrounded the, the Ark of the Covenant. So when we went in and stormed Baghdad, and they called it the shock and awe campaign, that was a play on the word Shekinah, because the Freemasons know all about the Shekinah. It's part of their ritual. And the Shekinah, the shock and awe, came down and struck Saddam Hussein, who was claiming to be Nebuchadnezzar reincarnated. I don't know if you saw that headline, but it said CIA cannot disprove Saddam's claims to be Nebuchadnezzar reincarnated. It's all in the newspaper. Everything I say is in the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> and he's rebuilding Nebuchadnezzar's palace with masonry, with his name all over it, saying that he is Nebuchadnezzar reincarnated. The Shekinah is the same as the Shekinah. The Shekinah comes down and strikes Nebuchadnezzar, Saddam Hussein, using the mother of all bombs that they had just created, this new uh, ultimate weapon that was just below a nuke. And uh, it just happens that they call the mother of all bombs the Moab in military acronyms. Well, the Moabites are the ones that took out Nebuchadnezzar. So you got Saddam Hussein, you got this Shekinah coming in taking Nebuchadnezzar using the Moabs. It happened to begin on the vernal equinox and end on Walsh Fergus night. <laughs> Barack Obama, a.k.a. Barry Satoro, a.k.a. Barry Dunham, uh, the name, Barack Obama, he is, he, the, we're looking at a serious name game going on because we're looking at Barack Hussein Obama. Okay, Barack's in charge of Israel, you know, and Hussein, uh, the Muslim world. So we've got this split bipolarity going on, and I've been detecting this going out through the whole election. So we had man against woman. We had him who's black and white. We have uh, his name, Barack Hussein, and then he, he invites Israel, Ram Emanuel Israel, or Ram Israel, uh, to be his, <laughs> uh, in his administration. So we have all of these plays on his name. Well... <clears throat> Barak means blessed in Swahili or Arabic. But in Hebrew, Barak means lightning. And so if you were to read the Bible, it would say, and Satan felt like, fell like Barak. If you read the line that says, and Satan fell like lightning. The original Hebrew word is Barak. So it would say, and he fell like Barak. But another story is that uh, Muhammad's horse, that he's to return on, the pale horse, is also named Barack. And so there's a bit of a name game going on with that. And the pale horse might be Barack. That's the name of Muhammad's horse. Uh, and in this dichotomy, this man, Albert Pike, who's standing right next to George Washington on this temple, is a, a war criminal who uh, is reputed to have started the Ku Klux Klan and uh, is pretty an evil magician. And he is the one who outlined and writ written all of the rituals for the higher Scottish Rite Freemasonry. So the, the degrees that go up above three were written by this man, Albert Pike. Well, he wrote a letter to another Freemason known as Mazzini, who is the M in Mafia. And he told them how they were going to establish World War III. And he had also outlined World War I and World War II. But you're going to see that he was saying, okay, we've got to get these polarities going. So first thing we got to do is get the Muslims and the Zionists fighting. So what's going on? You know, we got the Zionists and the Muslims. And so what they were saying is, you know, we got to get the Christians and the atheists uh, fighting each other to kill each other off. And he goes on to state that uh, without knowing where to render its adoration, the people will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, uh, brought finally out in the public view. So this is truly their religion, is the religion of Lucifer, and it's the religion of manipulating life, it's the religion of being in charge, in power, all the things that I've given you as examples, the 9-11, the use of a dollar, all of these things take away the divine power in life. And I'm hoping to reestablish that divine right, because what I have discovered, and what happened was, in, uh, as Obama was inaugurated, they had the first gay Episcopal Cardinal, or uh, uh, Gene Robinson, give his prayer at the One World Conference, and uh, the day before the inauguration, and, and he opened his prayer to the God of many understandings. Because nobody was allowed to use the name of Jesus in Barack's uh, campaign. <laughs> because the atheists were suing him. Right? So they were, they were fomenting war on every battle that they can. They're planting gardens at the White House while establishing House Resolution 875 to say you can't have an organic garden. Yeah. They're trying to piss you off. They're making you broke and poor while they're throwing million dollar parties at the White House. Obama made $600 million on his uh, campaign and book sales, 
And then he gave 25 DD DVDs to Gordon Brown as a present. You know, <laughs> they're trying to piss people off. That's their whole goal. That's the, what the Obamas are here to do, is to make you fight against each other. Uh, the other prayers that they had, the next one was to the God, let's see, God of many understandings and then the Lord of all nations uh, by Rick Warren. And then he even ended that with Amen. And we'll get to why he was worshiping Amen. Uh, so Barack talks much about his religion, uh, which he doesn't seem to really have much of one if you look at it from a traditional standpoint. But it was very curious when he made this remark. What I was suggesting, you're absolutely right that John McCain has not uh, talked about my Muslim faith. And you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come faith. at my, my Christian faith. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 so many people think that he might be the Antichrist, and so some of them use the uh, typical techniques of trying to understand Satanism in reverse speech. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> reverse speech is one of Satan's favorite tools. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan. <laughs> That's what you get when you play Yes We Can backwards. <laughs> thank you, Satan. Yes, he can. Thank you, Satan. Yes, he can. Uh, but I don't, I, I don't go that route, okay? I, I'm, I believe that the Bible is kind of a script that they're following. I think an Armageddon type of scenario that they're outlining and setting up and following. And it's actually maybe extraterrestrial in origin. And I guess you're going to have to get to my DVDs to get to more of the extraterrestrial connections, because I'm going to try and get this done here. Um, okay, so the questions of Obama's bloodline and who he is, uh, are, you know, distant relations to Bush, right? Well, they also found that the bloodline runs through a number of other families, which are very curious. I, I found it very curious that we have never gotten rid of the aristocracy. We like to believe that we have, that we're electing people into office, and that celebrities are just there because they're really good at what they do. But when you start to track bloodlines and understand who these people are, and that they are basically Egyptian uh, revived, if you realize that we're just in another Egyptian uh, culture, and that these people keep their bloodlines intact. And this is why they have sex with their sisters and mothers and daughters. And they have to keep a genetic bloodline. And I sometimes wonder if that's what I have. Is this what channeled this information for me? Because, like, you know, I'm doing this at 10 not knowing what it means, but all of a sudden, 20 years later, I find out what it all means, and it all has to do with what my dad's doing. So I believe in genetic memory. Genetic memory is a scientifically proven fact. So if we realize that these guys are trying to keep a particular memory together and interbreed so that this memory is passed down, then you start to realize, because, I mean, what are the odds that Hillary is related to Angelina Jolie and Obama's related to Brad Pitt, <laughs> right? McCain's related to Britney Spears and George Bush is related to Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and they're all related to Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> But they introduce other bloodlines into there every now and again. If they feel they need a little bit more matricy. Oh, and Hillary's also related to Madonna. Madonna and Angela and Angela Lady. And Celine Dion, who has happened to be with the hologram representation of Elvis on, on American Idol. Uh, she does look like She has his eyes. Mm -hmm. I never realized that. Pauline Pierce, her mother, went off to France with this old man to have a sexual ritual, which the OTO do. No one knows for sure if she came back pregnant or got pregnant afterwards, but she came back and gave birth to little Barbara right after her reunion with uh, Aleister Crowley. Yeah. And so uh, this man actually is the son of a beast, or the grandson of a beast, being that he was known as the beast. Well, he was known as the most evil man in the world. Yeah. Okay, so I've been tracking all these type of symbolic gestures and everything that's going on, and I realized that like when W went to visit the Pope, they visited in St. John's Tower on 1013, or Friday the 13th, which uh, is the 1013 that the Templars were killed. That's why Friday the 13th is the most unlucky day. Uh, George W. Bush goes visit the Pope, and he takes him to St. John's Tower, which is in honor of the Templars in 1013, and they do it on Friday the 13th. And uh, this has never happened before. They don't 
uh, bring guests to St. John's Tower. What's his uh, hand signal he's doing? Yeah, isn't that yeah, funny? He's, he's a UT, UT fan. fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, you know, let's keep it straight that Pope Ratzinger, uh, who took on Pope Benedict, which is the name of the title of the guy who was in charge of the Templars, and also the Pope that was in charge during World War I. Uh, they choose these names very carefully. Benedict is Benedict's rule, which is the rule that uh, created the Templars. And he has now established that the Templars are okay. We didn't find any problem. We actually 